Well, the farm to table element um, here at the school is, uh, the, it's kind of broken up into sections. One uh, section is uh, we visit Boulder Farms and the students go and they work with the growers and the farmers and it's a, a real life hands-on experience. Um, then we have a 10-day externship, which uh, depending on the time of year, um, we may go to a section of Colorado, uh, North Fork Valley, where we just completely immerse ourselves in, in the farm to table uh, movement. And all the students work on different farms. There's uh, outdoor bread baking in a hearth oven. Uh, there's, some, there's a distillery up in the North Fork Valley, which uh, we go to to experience. What really excites me about the farm to table is that I want to bring back what I gain um, maybe home with me. Um, I love the, uh, the way Colorado does put big emphasis on farm to table. That's one of the reasons why I chose this school. Uh, just the use of local products in Colorado um, and getting to know what the farmers do and how much work it takes to create all that food to bring to the kitchen and then put it on someone's plate I think is fascinating and it really makes me and I think other students appreciate what goes into creating all this food and really learning to respect it. This program is immersive. It's about more than just cooking. It's about understanding food and where it comes from and how to prepare it, how to think about it. Right now, how to grow it and harvest it. What excites me about going um, on our externship is that uh, we just had someone come back um, from taking the externship and she was completely changed. Uh, and you know, she made you just so excited. Um, about wanting to go and um, just hearing people talk about it. I'm really excited. It's a really, really great program. We partner with local farms and um, local places that raise their, their chickens. And if we can have our um, carbon footprint reduced and have that stuff more localized, the food gets better, it promotes a better community um, for where you're living. And it actually is going to have, we're going to have enough food in this world uh, over the next 50 years for our children and grandchildren and your children and grandchildren to still be experiencing some of the same things we see on our plate that you might see on yours today too.